Hello. Welcome to 1976 at Terrapin Crossroads. We have made it to the bicentennial. All right, so um, in 1976, in the Billboard Top 10, was really interesting. It was a lot of transition going on. We had things like Silly Love Songs by Paul McCartney and Wings. Don't Go Breaking My Heart, Elton John and Kiki D. 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover by Paul Simon. We had Sarah Smile and She's Gone by Hall & Oates in the top 10 that year. Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen was in the top 10. Um, and you know, we had some disco, You Sexy Thing by Hot Chocolate. Um, shake, Shake, Shake Your Booty and That's the Way I Like It by Casey and the Sunshine Band were both in the top 10. You guys are starting to get ready for dancing in the streets, disco style, I think. <laughs> Dream Weaver by Gary Wright, The Theme for Mahogany by Diana Ross, Show Me the Way by Peter Frampton, Levon, Levon, welcome Levon to the Bicentennial. Uh, Boz Skaggs did Low Down in the top 10, Fooled Around and Fell in Love by Elvin Bishop, uh, Saturday Night by the Bay City Rollers, and of course Rock and Roll All Night by Kiss. So uh, some cool things on television. One of the best ones was on uh, Saturday, Night Live, Saturday Night Live when producer Lorne Michaels made an on-air offer to the Beatles to come down and play for $3,000. And apparently John Lennon and Paul McCartney were watching that on television and were seriously considering coming down and taking him up on the offer. Uh, when they didn't take the offer, they, he offered them $3,200 the next week on Saturday Night Live. They, they didn't take that one either. Uh, also on television, we had the $6 million man, Happy Days, Beretta, Barney Miller, The Jeffersons, Chico and the Man, and Columbo. Uh, a couple of fun facts from 76. Bruce Jenner, who's in the news quite a bunch lately, won the Olympic decathlon. Um, Apple Computer was formed in 1976, and apparently the very first computers were being sold for $666.66. Um, the inkjet printer was invented in 1976, and Sweden's most popular Pro I'm sorry, and Sweden's most profitable corporation was the pop group ABBA. <laughs> All right, so in Grateful Deadland, um, 76 uh, was a, a slow year. Um, they, were kinda, uh, they were still reeling from 1975. Um, they only played 41 shows in 1976, and part of that was because they didn't start playing shows until June of 76. Uh, they were still sort of reeling from all the uh, expense and overhead of the wall of sound and a big staff and a lot of office people. And, and uh, they were sort of bleeding money. And so were, I think part of the hiatus was them trying to figure out how to pare the staff down a little bit without disappointing their friends and family. Never happened. Yeah. <laughs> it never happened. And um, um, so, you know, financial shenanigans were, were, were happening around the Grateful Dead. And... Uh, Grateful Dead Records was sort of in the midst of crumbling, and then Phil's going to tell us a story about Ron Rakow, who formed Grateful Dead Records, and sort of how it ended. Yeah, uh, it's it's a long and depressing story, but <coughs> mostly uh, it was actually a relief when it ended. Um, Rakow uh, was this hustler. He was a, a, a con man, what is it, a grifter. That's basically his his th his uh, nature. And uh, he uh, he got he got he kind of glommed onto Garcia over when the, they were all living over in, in Stinson Beach, and uh, Garcia decided to bring him on board, and, uh, above lots of objections. And uh, so he became he became sort of our manager, and and uh, we created we said well why not let's have a record company okay let's have a record company, let's make our own records and uh, and do it that way, and. Uh, also, he, he was the, he was the the driving force really behind um, the Grateful Dead movie uh, because when we decided to do the last uh, five shows before the break at at Winterland, Ron just decided, said, "Well, hey, well, let's make a movie about it," and which you know Garcia had always always wanted to make a movie to be a movie director. Uh, he uh, he optioned uh, Sirens of Titan uh, back in like the 60s and, and kept it close to his heart. And, he, and Jerry and Tom Davis even 
wrote a screenplay for Sirens of Titan, which is a marvel, and I would love to see it made someday. But <coughs> um, back to Rakow. And so, uh, so this, this was all, all, all of these grandiose schemes were, were springing from uh, Rakow's fertile brain. And, uh, and of course, you know, he was in charge of all the money. And so uh, we made our, our, uh, our, our last sort of independent record, uh, Mars Hotel, in uh, in seventy four was it? Yeah. Yeah. And um, and so just before, I'm I'm a little hazy. I, I, th I think it was just before New Year's or do you remember? Do you know I, when I that think was? it was early seventy six when yeah, he sold the rights to United Artists. Yeah, uh, he sold he sold those rights to United Artists, and um, then he took the money and ran. <laughs> and he actually had the stones to call me and Jerry in to the office and he sat behind his big desk and said, you know, um, I'm taking my cut and I'm leaving. And that was $225,000, which was a ton in of money In 1976 money, that's a hell of a lot. So Rakow um, took the money and ran, as we said. Um, he also was trying to fund a Hell's Angels film with Grateful Dead money, which apparently failed and never was made. And, and uh, so they were bleeding a lot of money. But uh, on the bright side, they got an offer from Clive Davis, uh, who had come from Columbia Records and formed a new record company called Arista, and he came down to the Grateful Dead office uh, and sat down and he talked he to these guys. He actually came down to Front Street, and we had a big long table, and he had his he had his suits with him, and we all, he sat on one side, and we all sat on the other, <laughs> and uh, we you know Clive convinced us to to make records for him. Showdown at the old 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 corral, OK Corral. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean there was re really wasn't much more to it. It was, I mean I've always respected Clive a lot because he he re he manages to bring the best out of his artists. And, and so, although he couldn't do that with us. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the first record they made for Arista was Terrapin Station, which uh, they started I maybe right at the end of '76, early '77. And so when we get into '77, we'll talk a little bit more about that and how that evolved. But um, it was a new relationship, and you know back then. Record, you know, bands needed record companies, or at least they believed they did, and so that was a big boost to them at a time where financially the band really needed it. Yeah, and they gave us a nice advance. <laughs> so that kept them going. So, so, um, so, '76. You know, by by 1976, the band was really on fire. The repertoire had really expanded greatly, um, and they were playing songs from way back in the beginning. You know, "Cold Rain and Snow," uh, "Scarlet Begonias," "Eyes of the World," "Lazy Lightning," "Must Have Been the Roses," "Let It Grow." Looks Like Rain, Ship of Fools, St. Stephen, U.S. Blues, the Bicentennial, uh, Friend of the Devil, Playing in the Band, Road Jimmy, Help, Slip Franklin's. There was so much great music that they were playing. And when they came back in 76, and if you've heard those tapes or listened to them, you know how strong they were and how powerful those shows were. And so um, tonight we will hear some music from early in their runs, I guess in the middle of the year, June of 1976. So here we go. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy the show.
on boys and wages if you got the mind if you got a dollar boys and lay on the line hit me
like the old man is getting on. I could help me just to find a 
Bye, Emma. 
Just out of bed Covers were still warm Where you've been laid You were gone My heart was filled with dread Might not be sleeping here again. It's all right, I love you. That's not gonna change. Run me around. Make me hurt again and again. And I still see you love song written in the letters of your name. Brave the storm. 
storm to come Cause it surely looks like rain Did you ever wake into the sound? Street cats making love Yes, from their cries, you were listening to a fire.
come to make it just one more day Whichever way your pleasure takes If you plant ice, you're gonna harvest wind Roll away
blues again Great all special in all my mind Don't know. One day, what's happening? Is that 
walking along Looking down on the ground Saw an old job done Well, he stretched out his arms And chains broke like threads When he got to the movie
coming as broad as the back of the wind is so. As he dances a circular track of cloud and the cloud ever The work of his days measures more than planting and growing. Let it grow, let it grow for greatly.
still a
up your PA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From Baltimore and DC. Can't sit in the street. Can't forget the motor city. All you need is music. There'll be music everywhere There'll be laughing, singing Music swinging Dancing in the street Doesn't matter what you wear Just as long as you are there Come on, there we go Look 
Yeah. 